so in the previous lecture we have discussed regarding the generating function for bessel's function which is e power e power x by 2 t into 1 minus 1 upon t is equal to summation n running from minus infinity to plus infinity that is a bessel's function you can represent as a power series into this form also we have discussed the addition addition formula for bessel's function which is jn x plus y equal to k running from minus infinity to plus infinity jn minus kx into jky that is you can separate this uh, x plus y for any x plus x and y in real number you can express that is as uh, this thing also we have discussed certain examples related to bessel's formula or bessel's function and the very important concept that is the bessel's integral formula the bessel's integral formula we have discussed is jn of x is equal to 1 upon pi 0 to pi cos n n theta minus x into sin n theta d theta so this is the things which we have discussed in the previous lecture mainly we have proved this three important formula for bessel's equation or bessel's function now in this lecture i am going to discuss the continuous fraction and how we can convert some continuous fraction and bessel's uh, formula to the continuous fraction so that is our objective for this lecture is to develop a certain continuous fraction in the terms of bessel's formula and we know that the recurrence relation for the bessel's formula is in the previous one of the lecture we have derived that j t minus 1 x is equal to 2p by x jpx minus jp plus 1x if i divide both side by jpx then jp minus 1x upon jpx is equal to 2p by x minus jp plus 1x upon jpx and this we can rewrite as that is equal to 2p by x minus 1 upon jp x upon jp minus 1x so this quantity i have for jp plus 1x So this quantity I have divided by this. So denominator is denominator. So that is I am just rewriting this equation into this form. So this is equal to J P minus one x upon J P x. And replacing this P by P plus one, we get J P x. upon jp plus 1x is equal to so i am just replacing this p by p plus 1 here so it is jp minus 1 will become p this is p plus 1 this is 2 into p plus 1 upon x minus 1 upon jp plus 1x upon jp plus 2x so this p plus 1 will become 2 p plus 2 and if you can replace this value of this jp plus jp upon so if i replace this value that is here we have this value if i put it here in this place that is jp upon jp plus 1 so this quantity jp minus 1x upon jp will be you can write down as thus 
jp minus 1x upon jp plus or jpx will be 2p upon x minus 1 upon this quantity that is 2p plus 1 upon x minus 1 upon so this I can write down 1 upon jp plus 1 x upon jp plus 2x and if you can write down this is again into this formula if you replace p by p plus 2 then you will have this is the things you will have jp plus 1 because jp minus 1 so and if you can do this continuously we will have it is into continuous fraction so this is the things you will get jp upon j 2p upon x minus 1 over 2p plus 1 upon x minus 1 over 2p plus 2 upon x minus 1 over 2p plus 3 upon x minus 1 over and so on. So this is known as a continuous fraction. A continuous fraction it is of this form. Suppose something is x plus 1 upon 1 plus x is there then instead of 1 plus x you can, can write down 1 plus x so this is in place of so in, this is known as a continuous fraction such type of things it is known as a continuous fraction so this is jp minus 1 upon x upon jp it is in the terms of continuous fraction you will have i will call this as equation 1 into this case and then question let us solve some of the questions regarding the same thing. So the first question I may write with this, that is write 10x as continuous continued fraction using Bessel's function. So the question is to write down your 10x into the Bessel's function and we know that the elementary function that is j minus 1 by 2x is equal to 2 by pi x into cos x that we have already derived this formula and j 1 by 2x is equal to 2 by pi x into sin x. This is also we have derived in one of the previous lecture. And so that for this will gives you j1 by 2x upon j1 by 2, sorry, huh, this will gives you cot x. And if I have this formula 5, so in this formula, you just see that this is the side we have jp minus 1x upon jp plus or jpx. If I replace this p equal to 1 by 2 here, then we will have this expression which we have here j minus 1 by 2x and upon j 1 by 2x. So let p equal to 1 by 2 in equation 1 we get 10x is equal to we know that it is 1 upon cot x and the value of cot x we have 1 upon j minus 1 by 2x upon j 1 by 2x and if you substitute that value here that is p equal to 1 by 2 we have to substitute in equation 5 so this is 2 into 1 by 2 so that is gives you 1 by x that is equal to 1 by x so it is 1 upon 1 by x minus 1 upon you just see that here you have to replace p equal to 1 by 2 so it is 3 by 2 2 will get cancelled so it is 3 by x that is minus 1 upon here you have to replace p equal to 1 by 2 so it is 5 by 2 2 will be get cancelled so it is 5 by x and if you can write down the next term is 1 upon 7 by x and minus it will goes on so this is the 10x into the 
continuous fraction in terms of Jacobian things you can represent. Now the next concept is regarding some examples related to this Wessels function. <coughs> 